All right, so today we're working on another machete concept, and uh, at the end of this video, it's going to be like a reference to where this came from. So this person is basically trying to hack me up with a machete, and how does that make sense for a modern day is that um, there are gangs out there, we talked about this on our last video, um, that are using a machete as a means of initiation to instill fear into people, to let them know like, hey, I'm, I'm so tough, I don't even need a gun, I can walk up to you and just hack you and, um, and then get away with it. And that is a real deal right now. If you're military and you go to other countries, you face this too. Even if you're just traveling abroad, you could go to a country where machete and, and chopping down sugar cane and things is the norm, so people walk around with machetes all the time. And as you'll see in this video, that uh, the link that I put at the end of this video, um, it's a really real threat in other countries. People are like having serious machete fights in the street. Um, so here's this bad guy. He comes out with a machete. I don't carry a machete normally. <laughs> I have a lot of knives and stuff in my car, but that's because I'm a wilderness guy. I like to go to the wilderness. Uh, but I normally don't have a machete, but a baseball bat or something like that uh, would be common for me to have in my ride. So here I have this ride, this, uh, this baseball bat. So we're going to separate a little bit. Just a little bit, go back some. All right, so we're gonna have to start with real range. I'm not gonna try to be up on this guy hitting him. He's got a machete in his hand. This is gonna be this real range. Again, this is dangerous. There's no perfect answer to any of this. Um, you can train for 10 years and still get hacked up with a machete just by making one mistake in the time because there's all this emotional stuff going on. There's all these things psychological that you're gonna to have to deal with. Terrain is gonna be all messed up. It's not gonna be like here in the training hall. So we're gonna to have to deal with that. So, very common. He comes in, he tries to slice me at the head or the neck. Boom, good, good. And even more so, he doesn't have to be a genius. He's gonna go straight across. He just knows he wants to try to hit me in the head or the face because that's gonna do catastrophic damage to me. So as he goes straight across over there, Boom, that's actually an angle cut. He's going straight across, right? So he's just trying to lob my head off, right? I don't want that to happen. So I wasn't expecting that. This thing happened at the speed of life. He comes with this swing. I back up. Now, this isn't perfect for me, for me to have my shoulders past my hips, but it saved my life. I wasn't expecting it. So we're building in that reality that I may not do the perfect thing. It won't happen exactly the way I did it in the, the training hall. Right? I was over here, I was doing whatever, this guy came out, I just saw the glimpse of my eye, that flash of light, and this thing is coming at me, so he's in here, he's trying to swing. Boom, I moved back. Now I've left my bottom foot behind, my leg behind, so it's just very natural. Again, he doesn't have to be a rocket scientist, he can't catch my head, but he sees that leg there, so he's going to go low and try to take that out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to remove my body or at least that leg, but keep my spacing in between him because I need to counterattack at some point in time. This is my opportunity to counterattack and counter. As he swings low, I'm swinging high and I'm trying to hit, boom, at the same time, simultaneously. I don't wanna go one for one, I'm gonna go simultaneously, right? So let's go back again, he comes with the one strike towards the head, I move it out, he comes towards the legs, boom, I'm gonna hit and then strike. Right? Let's say, for whatever reason, I missed that, right? I, I went to hit, I, the range was off, I wasn't able to get him, and he comes back with another swing to the head. So he goes, one, this is one, oh, he hits me there, then he hits my leg, boom, oh, then he hits me again high, boom, he finishes me off. So, I don't want that. So here we go, one, he came high, boom, I moved. Two, he came low, I missed at the same time, I was trying to hit him. Now he's going to come higher again. What I'm going to do is fall back on an angle and hit up. I'm trying to destroy that hand. Catastrophic damage. Boom! As I hit that thing. All right? So he comes one high. Four, two, low. Boom! I miss. Three, I move all 45 to give me an advantage because he can move forward faster than I can move back. So I'm trying to take advantage of geometry and good movement. At the same time, I'm trying to hit him up. All right? Do we all understand that? All right, let's give you another option. What if uh, I couldn't go that way? I had to go somewhere else. What if my balance wasn't right? What if things were just happening and I just, my body wanted to go react a different way? So he comes high, we do that the same, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, what was happening there? He goes low, I step back, I try to hit at the same time. Now I know he's gonna wanna come back. Uh, you know, he wants to come back that way. Yeah, so I wanna make sure I'm not there. So he goes high, 
I back up, he goes low, I move that. Now what I'm going to do is, he's not occupying that space over there, so I'm going to go over there. I know he's going to try to be getting me here where I'm standing, and I'm already going to shift my weight and load to shoot over there, especially because I just swung here. So my energy is kind of bringing me in that direction because I missed. So as he comes back, I'm going to step, boom, and then strike right down to the head. Notice how I'm weight is, my weight is loaded on the back leg. If I'm here and I mess and I miss, or he somehow avoids that, boom, and my weight is on the front. When he starts to swing, I'm gonna have yeah, I'm gonna have to move back and try to get out of there at the same time. So I am going to have my weight loaded. So if I miss, and now I'm already ready to go and do something from there. Right? So let's go back to that last one one more time. He comes high, whoa, shoulders low, boom, here I try to hit, I miss, but my body's going in that direction, boom, I'm hitting. Weight on the back leg, everything is there, I'm centered, right? His core is tight, so if somehow I miss, I can still follow up, right? Any questions about that? All right, again, the link is gonna be um, on this video you'll see the link at the end that actually shows you two guys trying to do it out with machetes um, and they're swinging like crazy. Um, and we'll talk about some of the commitment issues that you have when you know your life is on the line that two people might have when they're in something like this, this duel. All right, so let's take that and train.